Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. German consulting firm Transsolar Energy Technik visited the Ellis Park Stadium in Johannesburg for an energy audit aimed at reducing the stadium's energy usage and subsequent costs. Leandi Kolver has the story. The audit, which was part of a project supported by the South Africa German Energy Program, a partnership between the German Development Corporation, or GIZ, South Africa's Department of Energy, and the South African National Energy Development Institute, covered the entire Ellis Park precinct, including the rugby stadium and adjacent swimming pool, athletic stadium and indoor arena, and involved aspects such as the energy consumption of floodlights, pumps, hot water, audio and electrical appliances in the hospitality suites and restaurants. Transolar Chief Executive Professor Falkmar Bleicher explains Transolar's approach to saving energy. There are three uh, important steps and the first one is always to reduce the energy demand. Yeah? Uh, second step is always uh, to optimize the energy efficiency and the third step is uh, to use renewable energies. During his time at Ellis Park, Bleicher noticed various areas that could be improved upon. Up to now we saw a, a lot of uh, things we can do. One, uh, two important things are first the installation of, of, of the lights. Yeah? That is uh, a huge, a huge power installation and we can reduce it, for example, by uh, 80% and the energy demand by 50%. And the second one is the uh, fridges on, on, on the area are nearly 300 parts and there we can also optimize it by 50%. Other areas that Transolar earmarked for improvement include the stadium's ice machines that were currently positioned in direct sunlight without any shading or sufficient insulation and the boiler piping that was not insulated. Further, Transolar also recommended the installation of photovoltaic panels on the northern roof of the stadium. Bleicher said that should these measures be implemented, Ellis Park could significantly reduce its electricity consumption and bill, which was currently just below 400,000 rand a month. The overall uh, save is nearly, uh, nearly 40%, 37% by the demand and 40% and by the maximum peak load. So that's absolutely enough. Typically in stadiums around the world, we have a saving potential up to 30 to 60%. That's, that's the maximum. Other news making headlines this week. Convergence Partners' new partnership will inject millions into Africa's ICT infrastructure. The Green Building Council of South Africa launches its pilot socio-economic rating tool. And the DCD recapitalization program is a prime example of the industrialization of the South African economy. Investment management firm Convergence Partners has unveiled a new multi-million rand infrastructure fund to accelerate the development of information and communications technology infrastructure throughout Africa. So the continent is going to have new players who play in the infrastructure space, who will be able to provide infrastructure to as many other operators as possible. This could be in the wireless environment, i.e. LTE, LTE Advanced, or Digital Dividend 1 or Digital Dividend 2 or Wi-Fi type infrastructure. In a bid to acknowledge the socio-economic achievements of new green building projects and refurbishments, the Green Building Council of South Africa has launched the pilot socio-economic category for Green Star South Africa rating tools. In the green building space, we'd always seen that it, it shouldn't be only about the real technology of green buildings, so the air conditioning systems and the lighting and the indoor environmental quality, we always saw that there was a bigger issue at play, which is the socio-economic environment with, within which we operate. And in South Africa, it's clear that that's a very, very significant um, area of interest. It's, 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 it's an issue that we have to do something about. Johannesburg-based locomotive solutions provider DCD Rolling Stock officially launched phase one of its 240 million rand recapitalization program at its Boxburg manufacturing facility, reaffirming its commitment to the industrialization of South Africa's economy. The program will be implemented over the next three to five years. These types of investments 
will, bol will bolster our manufacturing capabilities. And we appreciate the confidence demonstrated by the DCT groups to the South African economy. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. Thank <laughs> you.